All right, guys, what we're doing today is we are um, going to be learning something new with the GarageBand. This is your GarageBand final. Um, we're going to be using all of the techniques we've learned this year, whether it be editing, um, you know, creating a part. I'm going to show you how to create not just the keyboard part again, but also how you can create a guitar part. Um, because we're going to use all of this stuff, mix, edit, change the volumes, create parts, and we're also going to be creating in a new form of music that you might not be familiar with. It's called ABA form. In this lesson, the students were working on the standard 2.5, which is arranging music using alternative forms such as digital music. And that's what I really wanted students to get out of this, was to work with digital music. I could just have students play, you know, three, four, five days a week, but they wouldn't get a full music education. Students need to learn to work with digital media as well as other things, and this is one way to get them to do so. So to show you what we're gonna do, this is something I created, and you can kind of see, I'll put it up here on the screen for you to look at. Look at how these four tracks and these four tracks are identical. There's nothing different. Now, in the first one, I created the guitar, the retro wah. And in the second one, I created the soul organ. Okay, so hopefully we're going to listen to it right now. And hopefully you'll hear the difference in the two sections. The importance of using programs to give them musical experience is so that they have a complete music education. We need to prepare students to be 21st century learners. I know that's a very popular buzzword right now, but it is true, especially in the music industry. Things are changing so rapidly. If they aren't prepared for that, they're not going to be able to adapt. And then, of course, it just repeats. You know, GarageBand just repeats as it gets to the end. So, you see the basic form of it. Now, the great thing about this app is it makes doing something like this extremely easy. I didn't have to count measures. I didn't have to make sure this and that. It did it exactly right. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So, go ahead and open up your iPads. Go ahead and launch GarageBand. This project is their final. And we are taking all of the concepts we learned, editing tracks, editing loops, changing voices, changing volumes, um, all of those things, and putting them all together. All right, so the first thing we do is we create new. So hopefully you have a little icon that says create new document. And we are going to select the live loops in the upper, uh, upper center there. Okay, live loops. And you select the box that says new. The goal in teaching students with that direct instruction to me is to remind them of what they're supposed to do and how to work with a program. With these programs, there's so many little nuances that they can use. It takes a lot of reminding. You can pick anything you want. It'll come up acoustic, and once again, the chords. Or the notes. Once again, you pick scale. Maybe I want to do minor blues now. So, as long as your first four tracks, you know, the bass, drums, guitar, and the keyboard part are all on lock, Add whatever you want as long as it adds blends. to it, blends to it, exactly. Cohesion, cohesiveness. You're gonna have the rest of the time to work on your project. I'll be meandering around the room, make sure we're all good. The importance of self-exploration is paramount. You never learn anything by being told. 
you have to figure it out. Some students are tremendous at finding new things. Sometimes students show me, hey, Mr. Haynes, did you see this? And I'll say, wow, that was neat. I, I never have seen that. And some students need you to pull them along. And that's why during the independent instruction, you kind of anchor yourself around certain students you know might need help. But then you notice, hey, they're having fun and they're exploring. And the other thing is the fun. Fun is extremely important in this. I like experimenting with all the different sounds and all the different instruments because it's a, a wide uh, ver variety of different instruments and um, I can be able to edit it however I like and um, make, make it sound however I like. Right now, I'm pretty content with what I was doing. I just try to mix and match them together from the basses and the guitars and the keyboards. It was a bit hard, but I tried my best. Yeah.